The differences between uh, co-working, incubation, and acceleration, I think it's, it's a really good topic to cover because obviously there are all three areas are exploding at the moment, uh, both in America and abroad. Co-working is typically a real estate business. Um, this is where you're offering office as a service. You're moving that capex expenditure to operational expenditure, typically offering a lot of flexibility um, for people, whether they've been working at home, whether they're uh, in, in small startup companies, just giving that flexibility. But really, it's predominantly a real estate business. Incubation tends to be focused on a subject matter, whether it's technology or health or biotech and these sort of things. And really the skill set there um, is for the people in the incubator to take the idea and you know the, the two founders and a PowerPoint and turn that into the best viable business. So how do you make sure that business is in, in high tech? How's it gonna be viral? How's it gonna be sustainable? How's it gonna be uh, you know, generate cash at the end of the day. And that's a, a very specific skill set of, of incubators and obviously Y Combinator, 500 startups um, and, uh, and Kick Labs, a number of others all do that very well. Where we fit in is the, where we feel is the less populated space, which is the accelerator space. And our job there is to take companies who have come out of the incubators and help them accelerate their growth. So as we say, we're trying to give them an unfair advantage. And a lot of that is just um, by introducing them to uh, companies and organizations and uh, venture capitalists, which might normally take them uh, several months to get, get contacted to. We have those connections right at our fingertips because we're dealing with them on a, a daily or monthly basis.